Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear. I'm going to be looking around, talking to people, but later. So our first job here is to make sure that Laverne is access and, you know, gets out of that tree, I mean. And fortunately I know exactly where the item I need to do that is. I suppose we can talk to the horse first, though. Uh, hi, horsey. Uh, hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Uh, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. What a nice horse. And hey, what a nice can of paint. Let's take it. Fortunately, there's a quicker way back downstairs. Assuming we can get out. And down. Don't ask any questions. Just go with it. It's that kind of game. Now, as you'll recall, Laverne is kind of caught in a tree with these sort of orange balls on them. Mmm, kumquats. Kumquats. Or, so I've been told. I don't like kumquats. Let's make them something else. Looks better now. Couldn't agree with you more. Now, I wonder if anyone's noticed the difference. Oh hey, he looks vaguely familiar. He appears to be staring at that kumquat tree. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Oddly enough, he was actually chosen unanimously. I don't think he was quite this smug about it, though. Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. Must be huge cherries. I said, come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this...
looks painful. Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Right then. Looks like we can go to Laverne's point of view now. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> well, it appears that the tentacles have won. Oh, well. Probably Mark. Hey, they can cheat, you can't! Oh, man. Let's have a chat with our fellow prisoners. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now, we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Hmm. Oh. Seems like an unfortunate uh, end to the human race there. Fascinating! Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! What? Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights! Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Hmm. So, asking to be let out to the bathroom, lets us access the outside here. And, conveniently, the Chronogon. Not much else, though. Oh wait, what's this? I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we don't really have anything for them to send to us just yet. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! It's about time! Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! What? Let's try the other option here. Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. <laughs> time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. 
Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. <laughs>